Hey everyone, welcome back to Inkmatic. Back here with another video. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying these portfolio updates. This is episode 59 of the Trading 212 updates. If you haven't checked out our blog, we have a new post that went out this week and it's follow these seven steps to start your investing journey. Head over to Inkmatic.com or link is in the description as well. So you can start investing today and get some free shares when you sign up to the platforms in a blog post. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well. It really does help this channel grow. We're at 760 subscribers, which is amazing. I really do want to get to 1000 by the end of this year. I know it's becoming a little bit ambitious. So could you please hit that subscribe? It would be hugely appreciated. Anyway, um, so this is episode 59 of the Trading 212 update. So what we're going to go through is the changes since the last update and continue on with the overall portfolio and what's in it and why I've got it. So yeah, let's roll the intro and get started. All right, so let's go through this portfolio. It's now at £11,161.47p. I've invested £9,694.96p. Returns at the moment is £1,466.33p. That's 15.12%. It looks like it is on a downward trend. Um, it is down about a one percent 2% from last week so it's not really too much so I'm not too bothered about it right now um, it's been a fairly flat week if I'm honest up until Wednesday I have sold a few stocks that I want to clarify and we're just going to quickly run through them and then continue on with the update but I'll also mention some of the stocks positions that I've added to throughout the week so let's start off with stocks that I've sold this week. I've sold at and I pretty much closed the position. I've been thinking about it for a while and you know it's been hovering around $30, just under $30 for the last few months. So I figured it was a time to get rid of it and put it into a more stable stock. I personally think it's, a, it's at a point where they're probably not going to be a dividend aristocrat anymore that I'm probably going to see dividend cuts and so on so I thought it was a good time the next stock that I sold this week is British land and it's a stock that I've been uh, meaning to sell for a while I did kind of forget about um, selling it if I'm honest uh, I I should have sold it around you know five pound ten um, I ended up selling it at pound 80 so you know i did miss an opportunity there it was a stock that i did plan to get rid of for a while it hasn't actually been moving that much so i figured you know it's time to get rid of it and put that into another stock now let's look into where i've reinvested the funds from the sell-offs so i've purchased two shares of aries capital and this is just uh something that i do want to increase my position in and I figured, you know what, let's get to five and see where it goes. And I do want to continue to add to this. I've added one share of BP and this is just mainly because I had a few pounds left. And, you know, I just figured I'll try and average down on this one. There wasn't really any reason why. It was just change that was left over from the other trades. Moving on to the next one, which is... So majority of the funds have gone into Main Street Capital. Current share price is at $31.34. I've got 42.5 shares and I've gone over the £1,000 mark. It's at £1,006.67p. I am down £4.11p in the red. That's 0.41%. Um, the FX impact is working in my favor and, you know, it's reducing my losses by 0.07%, not really massive, about 74p. But in the plus, on the plus case, um, you know, I am expecting around $8.71 in dividends going forward from January. So, so now moving on to realty income, it's another stock that I've added to this week. It's currently at $60.20 at the time of recording this video i've got 19 shares at the moment roughly worth 864 pound and 94p returns at the moment i am down about 10 pounds that's 1.14 percent however this is mainly because the fx impact which is actually bringing me down into the red otherwise it, when we exclude it you know i'd be in the green the reason I like Realty Income is that they're a dividend aristocrat and that they have increased their dividends 
every single quarter for the last 93 quarters. So um, it's actually a really good stock for me and I think it's going to be a great long term um, I guess wealth builder, you know, income generator, passive income, that kind of thing. So I'll be looking forward to um, dividends every month with realty income and Main Street um, just to get that regular flow going so I can keep investing or reinvesting into the stock market. So the next stock on the list is the S&P 500 high dividend yield, low volatility. And I've got six shares at the moment worth £130 and ATP in total. Uh, I'm up £10 and 7p, that's 8.34%. And my average price is at £20 and 11p. I do want to be increasing my uh, ETF exposure in 2021. And I'll be looking to basically bump these up to um, and focus on them in going into 2021. This and the next stock that we're gonna be talking about. I think overall, I think it is actually a really good to get into ETFs and especially like mitigate some of the risk. And you know, I guess it'll be good. This is the iShares S&P 500 um, iUSA. I've got 11.03 shares. Uh, valued around £302.60. I'm up £38.12. P. That's 14.41% 14 uh, 14 in the green. That's £23.97p average price. I think these two um, are really good. The iShares USA is in my pie. So um, like I said earlier, 2021, I will be focusing more on ETFs and just getting my exposure in ETFs um, a bit more. So moving on to legal in general, average price is at £2.44. This is a great stock. I really like them and it's something that, you know, I'll be holding on for the long run. You know, they're a great dividend payer, a great company overall, and it's one of my favourite British stocks. Um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be in the long run, uh, this and Viva. I've got 120 shares in this portfolio and I believe I've got about 50 ish in my free trade if you haven't seen my latest free trade links in the description or in the card above I've got 120 shares in total in this portfolio a total value of 292 pounds and 80p returns at the moment 83 pounds and 70p I am up 40 percent that's 40.03 percent overall and I think it's a great company overall um great dividend payer and something that I'll be holding on for the long run. Average price for the stock is at £1.74p. Moving on to Lloyd's now, it's at 34p overall and I did actually think about increasing this today. I've got 1,400 shares which is valued around £478.24p. I'm down £49.03p, that's 9.3% in the red. Average price is at 37 P. So it's not too bad and it is something that I will be looking to increase in uh, if it does drop below around 32p um, and I'll be buying a few more on this. But um, it hasn't had quite a good week. It's been a kind of a red week for it. But overall, I'm quite I do have a positive outlook on this and it is going to be a longer play for me. As I've got 1400, ideally I do want to get to around 2000, but I'll be more leaning to add that 600 when it does go below 30p. So now moving on to Microsoft. I personally think it's a really good uh, tech stock play and something you would hold for the long run. That's just my personal opinion. I've got a very small position as well at 1.55 shares, valued around £248. I'm up £39 and 4p, that's 18.61% in the green. Really happy with that. However, the FX impact is taking a little bit out of my returns. But, you know, I'll be holding on for this for the long run and look to eventually in the future add more to this. But I'd love to know what you guys think about Microsoft. Is it a play? Is it worth a buy for you? And do you have it in your portfolio? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. Um, would you Do you have Apple or Microsoft? I really like National Grid. I've got 11 shares at the moment, which is, you know, um, I've got, not, it's valued at around £96.38p. I'm up £1.85p. That's 1.96% in the green. And my average price is at £8.59p. I personally think, you know, it's going to be a really good long-term play, especially as we're moving cars to electric and the infrastructure that we're going to need. We're going to need or demand more electricity. However, the infrastructure is probably not right there at the moment. So they are probably going to, I would expect them to see dividend cuts in the future. So they reinvest in their network. 
So with NatWest, I keep thinking RBS, it's at one pound and 50p at the moment. I've got 125 shares. Total value is at 188 pounds. I wish I did sell my position in this when it was in a green, but I was holding on for a little bit more. I was thinking I was getting a little bit greedy. But returns at the moment, I am down at £12.84p. That's 6.39% in the red. Average price at the moment for me is £1.60. So I, I was thinking about closing this position and, you know, just reinvesting that into other stocks. But, you know, now it's in a red. I'm just going to hold on to it and see. And hopefully banks do resume their dividends soon. Moving on to New River Re and New River Re, it's currently at 81p. I did send out a tweet on Twitter saying that I am thinking about closing this, but I will. I can't, when you come to think of it, it is actually a huge loss that I would be. I'd be down 146 pounds and 94p. That's 27 point. 84% in the red. So I've got 470 shares and my average price is at £1.11p. So I'll be holding on to this for a few more months just to see where this goes. And, you know, as we do have a positive outlook on 2021. So hopefully things do pick up in the retail, leisure, and industry. So we're seeing pubs open, etc. So I hopefully I can, you know, break even on this and get out as soon as I can. Now with NVIDIA, I think it's going to be quite a good um, play, especially with the acquisition of ARM and Apple switching over to ARM chips for the M1 and seeing their performance boost and, you know, price to performance, etc. And, you know, energy consumption to performance all being spectacular. I think, you know, we're probably going to move away from x86 chips to ARM chips or architecture to be exact. So I think um, Nvidia is probably gonna benefit quite a lot in this. I only have a very small position because I've added this recently to a new pie. I've got 0.04 of a share, so practically nothing. Uh, its total value is around 17 pounds. Moving on to the next stock, which I have on the list, I'm not gonna talk about uh, okay, yeah, let's talk about Persimmon. So it's currently at £24.55. I've got 7.5 shares at the moment, valued at £183.90p. It has had a little bit of a red day, to be honest. I am up £21.53p. That's 13.26% in the green. Uh, my average price is at £21.65p. I do want to add more to this, and I will be doing this um, as we see the, I guess, the prices drop. Moving on to the next one, I'm not going to talk about Realty because I've already covered it. Moving on to Royal Dutch Shell. And with Royal Dutch Shell, they've had a fairly good week. Um, oh, sorry, month, to be honest. It is up, well, it's up 17.24% in the month. I've got 13 shares, £174 in total value. Returns at the moment, £5.47p. That's 3.23% in the green, and my average price is at £13. So um, for me, I'm probably going to be holding this stock for around two to three years at most, and then probably reevaluate where I'm going to go with it, especially same with this and BP, um, especially with oil stocks. You know, we're moving away to a more greener future and potentially you know Royal Dutch Shell and BP may not be as profitable as they are right now. Let's move on to the next stock which is Telefonica and I actually did purchase five additional shares this week. I've it's currently at three pounds and well sorry three euros and 53 cents. I've got 55 shares at the moment valued at 178 pounds and 15p i'm down 38.3 percent that's 17.69 percent in the red however the fx impact is definitely reducing some of my losses but i think um anyway i've purchased five additional shares purely to average down because my my average cost is around four euros and 50 cents so i've reduced that a little bit more so just to um plan on that and i think telefonica in the long run should do quite well um and yeah so i'll be keen to know and follow this over the next six months but yeah that's it for this stock so now moving on to uber technologies i've got 52 well it's currently at 52 dollars and 36 cents i've got two shares valued at a total of 79 pounds and 23p returns at the moment 36 pounds and 48p i am up 85.33 percent and you know i'm having uh, about a three percent loss due to at uh, the fx impact but i think you know uber technologies are going to be pretty good in the long run especially they've expanded their food delivery business with the acquisition of i, I can't remember which company they 
they took over. But I think, you know, they are probably going to do really good. And seeing the recent acquisition, uh, well, recent IPO of DoorDash and their insane prices right now, you know, they've practically doubled going in from $90 to $170, um, which is ridiculous. Um, and I'm I'm expecting, you know, Uber to do the same uh, or at least see a kind of a spike in share price but i do think at the same time you know the u.s market is kind of in a bubble as well um with those valuations is ridiculous so i may potentially you know cash in my returns right now because it is pretty good around 85 percent then on to the final stock in this portfolio and that is walt disney don't forget to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm it's currently at 177 dollars and it has had a really good week it's up 15 percent and on the month it's up around 28 percent so you know it has had a really big boost i've got one share at the moment worth 134 pounds and 39p returns at the moment is 46 pounds and 89p i'm up 53.58 percent and i am having a slight reduction in that due to the fx impact but overall i do think you know it is going to be a great company in the long run you know they're going to see once the parks open up they're going to see a huge boost in that but I think that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It really does help. I really do want to hit and finish 2020 with 1,000 subscribers. So if you can, hit that subscribe button and share this video on Twitter. It would re I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out our website and our blog, which is inkmatic.com, and our latest blog post, which is seven, th seven steps that you need to uh, to start investing a link is in the description as well and don't forget to share those posts as well i'd really appreciate it and let me know your feedback on these posts um, what kind of articles you would like to see and don't forget to get your free stocks in the description when you sign up to these platforms like for example trading 212 when you sign up using my link you'll get a free share worth up to 100 pounds some people have astrazeneca starbucks uber so all of these are great companies that you can get for free and it's free money use my link in the description and we'll both get a free share so thanks again for watching this video and making it this far see you in the next one